after years of running campaigns, this is what works. This is what we do across all the businesses. So every business I'm involved in, we do this thing called the three-part year. And the three-part year is how we run our campaigns. And I'm going to share with you exactly what we do here. The three campaigns that we run, simultaneously across the year, we do three things. We have our annual big message where we're sharing a big message across the top all, all year. That's social media. We do quarterly spotlight campaigns where we do something exciting once a quarter every 90 days. And then we do, do something called the perfect repeatable week, which we repeat at least 45 times a year. So we do a perfect week. So let's break it down. So perfect repeatable week is the campaign that makes the most money. This is the big money maker. What people see is the message. What people see is the spotlight. What they don't see typically is just the weekly campaigns that we run. And we have all these campaigns that just run all the, all the time. So imagine this. Imagine you take your official capacity, divide by 40 weeks, and that is going to be how much capacity you need to do each week for 40 weeks. So if your capacity was 80, you need to make two sales a week times 40 weeks. So you're going to essentially create a little mini campaign designed to bring in two sales or designed to do a mini campaign around getting uh, two people to, uh, to come on board. So every single one of these 40 weeks, you're going to run a LAPS dashboard. LAPS is leads, appointments, presentations, and sales. How many leads did you generate? How many appointments got booked? How many presentations did you deliver? How many sales got made? A lead is a signal of interest. An appointment is someone who schedules time to pay attention. A presentation is someone who sits through and actually watches the presentation and understands the value proposition. And a sale is someone who acts upon the value proposition and buys. So essentially, a lapse campaign, a weekly lapse campaign is going to go 40 times a year or 40 to 45 times a year. You're just going to repeat this thing, repeatable, 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 leads, appointments, presentation, sales, leads, appointments, presentation, sales. And you're going to try and even it out. So it's like 30 leads, six appointments, four presentations, two sales or something like that. It's just going to go boom, 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 boom. And you're going to try and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Here's some good drivers for perfect repeatable week. A weekly event, a mini workshop or a mini like introduction event, perfect example. A discussion group where new people join the discussion group every week and your goal is to have 25 new people join the discussion group or something like that. Uh, scorecards where new people take the scorecards every single week. So these are all perfect repeatable weeks. Uh, I do this all the time. Like even as a tech company, for the first 18 months, we did a weekly campaign called the Million Dollar Lead Magnet. Every single week, I was running a little workshop for about 30 or 40 people called the Million Dollar Lead Magnet, and people would just jump on and take that. Uh, one of the other campaigns we did was for a little video series, four-part video series, um, the biggest mistakes that you're making in business, and we ran ads to that, and it just generated leads, 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 leads. One of the campaigns I've got running for Score App right now is the 30-minute lead formula. It actually runs sitting on Score App, so people answer a quiz and then get the 30-minute lead formula. And this is a little mini course that I run every single week, leads, 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 leads. So people are filling these things in, they're filling in forwards, for forms, they're registering for stuff, leads, appointments, presentation, sales, leads, appointments, presentations, and sales. And we've got dashboards and it's like, yep, this week, 82, 15, 7, 3. Last week, 89, 16, 11, 2. 72, 27, 7, 4. And it's just like boom, 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 right? So it's just leads, appointments, presentations, and sales. So what you're trying to do with the first campaign is just get into a rhythm of laps where every week leads appointments, presentations, and sales. So the quarterly spotlight is where you do something exciting to re-energize yourself and your list every single 90 days. And this is where you've got four spotlight campaigns throughout the year. So there are three big things you can do with these campaigns. You can either have a product update, you can do a special person or a special speaker, or you can do some sort of special experience. So for example, you might say we're doing a big product update, right? Um, so we're up announcing some new product features. Or you might say we've got a special famous person who's coming to speak at our events um, this quarter, right? So something special. Or you might do a special experience. We're going to be doing a special tour of a new private members club. We're going to be taking our clients out on a boat for the special experience. We're going to be taking our clients to the snow for a special experience. We're going to be doing a special summit of some sorts with guest speakers who are coming along to the special summit. 
right? So those are all things that I've done as quarterly spotlights. There's lots of them because we do them all the time. But every business every year has four big campaigns that are something special once a quarter to get people engaged in, um, in the spotlight campaign. The final one is the 7-Eleven four big message, right? So this is where you go out and you dominate social media as best you can. So you get yourself all over the social media channels and you start talking about a big message. So one of the things you can do is you can create a batch of content. You can do a, a, film, a couple of hours of filming and record all of these different videos that are gonna go out on social media. Or you can create a little set of courses or materials I just did, this is me this morning. I literally did this this morning, same shirt. Um, I was recording some stuff that's going to go out over the next um, couple, of, uh, couple of months. So you're creating the big message. Now, what you're looking for with the big message is you're looking for remarkable stories that other people are going to share, a game worth playing. So you tell people about a game worth playing or disruptive ideas where you give people updates as to how they should be thinking about things. So disruptive ideas, remarkable stories, a big game worth playing, these are all examples. So let me give you an idea. Game worth playing, 10,000 steps a day, right? So if you talk to people about 10,000 steps a day, they're going to go, oh, okay, I'm going to play the 10,000 steps a day game. Um, and that's part of your big message. Or for Jay Shetty, ancient monk wisdom for the, for the modern world, right? So you need to apply ancient monk wisdom if you want to succeed in the modern world. Um, or... Collecting more data means finding the more perfect clients, right? So um, you're essentially trying to answer this question. The moment someone believes X, it's the key for them to get what they want, then all objections will disappear. So if people believe that 10,000 steps a day is the key to health and weight loss, then objections to doing that disappear. If people believe that ancient monk wisdom is the key to success in a modern world, all objections disappear. If people believe becoming a key person of influence is the key to business success, objections disappear. So essentially, you're out there talking about these big ideas, these big things. You're not talking about your products. You're not talking about what you do or your pricing. You're just simply out there adding value around some central ideas. And those are your three campaigns, the big message, the quarterly spotlight, and the weekly perfect repeatable week. And if you do those three things using the principles we've talked about, you'll end up with massive demand and supply tension. You'll end up with a huge amount of people who want to work with you. You can pick and choose your clients. You can raise your prices. Um, you can have more fun. You can take time off because you know you've got a waiting list. Um, you can relax a little bit because you know that you've got this uh, tension of people who want to work with you. So it's a much more fun game to play.